Well, Jamie, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. You describe yourself as a queer woman married to a transgender man. Yes. And you're a member of the LGBTQ community and you went there to do something good, something positive at this clinic in St. Louis. What changed your mind? A number of things. We started to see patients who were experiencing very significant medical harms, being rushed to the emergency room with lacerations requiring stitches. Um, we had patients contact us who were begging to have body parts put back on within months of having surgeries. And the thing that kept happening is every time I would raise concerns and ask about the protocols and ask about the guidelines, this is just how the industry works. If a child says they're trans, there's no questioning it. We just say, yep, you're trans, what would you like? You're, you're telling me that a 12 or 13 year old who can't decide which pajamas to wear can come in and say, I've decided that I want to transition. And with no more than a couple of hours or two visits, not even a couple of hours, two visits, they say, okay, start taking this, start doing this, which alters their biochemistry in a way that you can't come back from. Correct. And you say you saw dramatic increases in teenage girls that had no previous history of gender distress, and they suddenly declared themselves transgender and demanded immediate testosterone blockers. Yeah, 